Hey y'all, it's Miss Katie. Welcome to Heritage Ways. Welcome to Heritage House. This is where we honor home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. And today I want to talk to you real quickly about a gamma seal and how to put it on a bucket. Okay, y'all, there's a lot going on in this house today, so you might hear some Okay, you just heard Mr. Patient getting this up. Bend down and say hi to... Uh. <laughs> oh, my stars. Professional, we are not. <laughs> okay, he's getting his lunch ready, except it's supper, to go to work. All right, I made him two wraps for That's a wrap. his supper. That's a wrap. Okay. Also, you might hear some hammering because um, Mr. Yoder is downstairs working and um, that's fine. We've got continued uh, demolition and renovation and stuff going on on Heritage House. And so there's rarely a day or a time where somebody is not demolating, demolating, demolishing. What's the, what's the verb? Dem demolishing. <laughs> that was hard. Demolishing or, or renovating or practicing piano or whatever. So welcome to life at Heritage House right now. We have, I have, um, a larder that I have, we're, I'm working on stocking. And um, I did this back um, stocking up back in the last two farmhouses. And it's just, you know, stocking up is something that um, I think it's just it's what a homemaker does. Or a farmer's wife, or a, or you know, a person who just doesn't want to run to the store every day. And I was talking to our friends Terry and Tanya the other day when they were here, and I said, you know, people now call it hoarding or whatever you want to call it, but it's just common sense being prepared for whatever. I mean, we're now living in Ohio. I don't know how to drive in snow. This girl is not fixing to drive in snow if she can help it, and. Um, I don't want to get out. I, I like just being cozied in in the winter and I don't want to have to get out for this, that, or the other thing. So, um, so stocking up is not hoarding people. It's not, um, now I also, and you can see a tour, I can put the video up here, a tour of the uh, pantry in the last farmhouse we were in. I wish I could give you tours of the other farmhouse, but um, videoing and social media and stuff were not a thing back when we lived in that house. And there's somebody mowing his yard because we need all of the perimeter sounds we can get. Seriously, okay. All right, well, one thing I had at the other house was um, five gallon buckets with gamma lids. Here's your five gallon bucket. And I had, um, I've still got two of them down there, but the, some of the others we've used in the RV and they're dirty and maybe lost and such. So here is uh, one way that I stored and still store grains bulk things, you know, sugar, um, flour, grains, beans, rice, whatever you need to store. This is a gamma lid, between my, okay, and it just screws on just like this. I'm going to show you how to put it on your bucket and um, tell you why I like them. Super easy. Got some something going on downstairs. Construction. All right, gamma seal lid. Now, I want to address where I got this before we go any further, in case you're wondering. And this is not an affiliate in any way. I'm not um, affiliated with this company. I do want to tell you first that I gave Azure Standard a good college try trying to get these buckets and lids from them ever since June. So this is November the something. And ever since June, I've been trying to get five gallon buckets and gamma lids and they keep saying that they are out. Sometime this summer, I saw an Instagram friend had gotten 15 in her Azure Standard haul and I couldn't get one, so I don't know the rhyme or reason of it. So Mr. Patient, 
who has been in the corporate world, the business world, and all that kind of stuff, and he just knows everything. So he told me to try Uline. Hang on, let me get the magazine and show you the name. Tell me to try Uline. So that's, this is the magazine they sent me, the catalog. I'm not gonna throw it away because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to go back to paper. <laughs> I'm gonna try to reverse the digital world and go back to paper, so I'm gonna keep this catalog. But um, I did go to Uline because so I was just so fed up with trying to get it from Azure Standard. Uh, this is not saying I don't like Azure Standard as a whole. That's another video. That'll be in another video. But I got these, and quite honestly, I don't remember how much they were. Y'all can just go and search it on the internet and find out how much the five-gallon buckets are, and then you buy the gamma lids separately. So these ga these five-gallon buckets I ordered a week ago Sunday. And I had them Tuesday afternoon without paying any extra high po postage or whatever. And so that was awesome to get them that fast. And also got to get any color I wanted for the same price. So I got red because I like red. And um, they are food grade. Okay. So then you buy these separately. So I got five of the buckets and five of the lids. Now this is Gamma, it says Gamma 2, uh, dry food storage, lawn and garden, construction, pet food. So here's, the, I mean, here's our bucket, our food safe bucket. And by the way, if you do go on Uline, um, the specs for everything are there and that's where you can learn all about food safe or not food safe. Here's your seal, put it between my feet so I can, there we go. And this is the one I've already put on. Here's our new and washed bucket. Here's our gamma seal lid. Take this off. Two parts. Now I'm gonna have to stand up to do this, but I'm gonna stand up and just push on the rim. Snap it on there. go by and what I did is I get a towel because it can kind of press on your hands cut into your hands stand up again and I just make sure it's on there real good see you really don't need to use I guess you could use a wooden mallet or a metal a uh, rubber rather if you wanted to, but it's not necessary because this, this is on there. It's on there real good. So this stays on. This doesn't come off. You have your screw lid and you just put it on there and literally it is just so easy. Airtight, leak proof, protection, pest proof. Tighten it tighter or not, but I have used these for um, years almost 20 I think and never had a problem love these gamma lids that go on the five gallon buckets or different size buckets but if you have questions just ask me down below do y'all use these lids have you had success with them um, I will say I don't put the um, oxygen absorbers in here because every time you open a lid using an, and an oxygen absorber is in your bucket it kind of um, negates the use of the absorber. So um, I've not tried the silica um, packets yet because I can't find any. But um, I do know my friend Mary at Mary's Nest has a video about oxygen absorbers and silica um, packets and that kind of thing. So you might need to go to her or someone else to find out about that. If you have a question about that, I probably can't answer. But um, anyway, thanks for watching today. I just want to kind of share this and jump in here and show you this. And I'm probably going to give you a tour of my larder and my root cellar, two different rooms, down in the basement at some point soon. So thanks for being here at Heritage Ways. And I hope you'll be blessed. And I hope you will get your provisions ready because God is good all the time. But we have to gird up, put on the armor of God, get our provisions ready all kinds of provisions, and 
It's all good. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.